just like in the text2 activity, you're going to start a program with some pseudocode. Start by copying the code here in step 3, then select the Program Canvas button in the upper right to link a new program to this activity. Name it Variables, choose the text program type, and select the robot you are using. You can see that there is a while loop or loop forever already open. First thing you need to do within this loop is to declare two variables. Remember, variables are containers or placeholders for storing data. The first variable is called toss. Let's set it to zero. This will be used to record how many times Sphero gets tossed during the game. The second variable is called expire and will be used to select a random number of tosses that determine when the game expires. Use a constant variable for expire. The code for this variable won't change. Now, head to the text canvas help and search for random float. There it is. Set the minimum to 2 and the maximum to 10. This means that a random number between 2 and 10 will be chosen each time the game starts. Next, you need to define a nested loop until within the original loop forever. For this one, it will loop while toss is less than expire and call the logic within. Like in text 2, this constant variable will hold the measure of the total change in acceleration across all three axes. You can find this in the text canvas help under accelerometer. Now, set the main LED to green. You need an if-then statement to test whether or not a toss of greater than 3 G's has occurred. And if it is greater than 3 G's, let's play the ding sound and set a strobe. This is very similar to setting the main LED, but with a strobe, you also set a blink period, or the duration of the blink, and a blink cycle, or the number of blinks. Set the light to white by giving the value to red, green, and blue of 255. Set the period to 0.1 and the cycle to 1. The last step in the if-then logic is to count the number of tosses and keep track of that value with a variable. This is important because the loop until is continuously evaluating the number of tosses against the random integer chosen for the expire value. This is done with a simple toss plus plus. Be sure to close the if then logic with a closed curly bracket. When the toss variable is greater than the expire variable, the loop until condition will be met and the logic will continue down the program. At this time, you need to communicate that the player holding Sphero is out. Let's use the sound, light, and movement to do this. Start with the sad noise from the personality category. Set the main LED to red. Now, to get the movement you want, maybe something that makes Sphero difficult to hold, create a for loop, repeating the logic within five times. In text one, you use this simple loop to draw a square with Sphero. As you can see, this loop is already written for you. If you look close at the loop, you can see the variable of i1 is less than 5. The 5 represents the number of times this loop will repeat. Let's call the logic within now. On the next line, type await raw motor and set both the left and right sides to 255 for 0.2 seconds. Now, call the raw motor again, but this time set both sides to negative 255 and for 0.2 seconds and then close the loop. The last step is to reset the toss count to zero in preparation for a new game. All we need to do to do this is declare toss equals zero. You're all set. Run the code and play hot potato. Continue on to step four for debugging tips.